Keep it moving. Tell me, Warden, what measures would you take here at Blackwood's Island Prison if one of these desperate creatures tried to escape? Men have orders to shoot first and ask questions later, Lady Malvern. Very proper. Yeah, I would think. Pick guy up. Get more back. your way, Mr. Worcester? Oh, rather not. No, no, great pals. No, we, we, uh, we hit it off splendidly. Uh, saw all the sights, mm. you know, uh, museum of art in the morning, and then uh, a spot of lunch at some nice, quiet, vegetarian place, and then in the afternoon, toddle along to some concert or other, uh, and then home for an early dinner. Really? Yes, and then uh, we normally play dominoes after dinner, and then early to bed uh, for a refreshing sleep. No, we, we had a great time. I was only sorry when he went away to Boston. Oh, Wilmot is in Boston, is he? Yes, yes. He just upped one morning and said, I'm going to Boston. And then, uh, well, sort of went to Boston. <laughs> Extraordinary thing. Still a very, uh, very respectable sort of place, Boston. You know, not like it's come to any harm in Boston. <laughs> Lord, uh, uh... It hardly comes, Mr. Worcester, with the fact that when I went to Blackwell's Island Prison to collect some material for my book, I saw poor dear Wilmot there, dressed in a striped suit, walking the exercise yard with a pack of criminals. Good Lord, really? Well, so, this is how you've been looking after my poor dear boy, Mr. Worcester. I left him in your charge, thinking that I could rely on you to shield him from evil. And you led him astray. Well, no, you have deliberately done the... Mother! Oh. Good heavens. I've just been to, um... Uh... Um... Buffalo. No, Baltimore. Hang on. Jeeves, where have I just been? Begins with a B, I know. Prison, sir? That's right. No! Perhaps I can explain, your ladyship. You? When Mr. Worcester informed your ladyship that his lordship was in Boston, he was relying on the version I had given him of his lordship's movements. Mr. Worcester was away visiting a friend in the country at the time and knew nothing of the matter until your ladyship explained it to him just now. What? As he had grown so attached to his lordship and taken such pains to look after him, it might have been hard uh, to persuade Mr. Worcester that your son went to prison voluntarily and from the best motives. But your ladyship, knowing him better, will readily understand. Well, what? You went to prison voluntarily? Yes. Yes. His lordship was frequently depressed at how little he was doing to help collect material for your ladyship's book on America. No, I was. I was. Yes. I find that very hard to believe. But surely, your ladyship, it is more reasonable to suppose that a gentleman of Lord Pershaw's character would go to prison of his own volition. No, I did. I did. I, w I went of my own, um, what he said. No, rather than by committing some breach of the law which would necessitate his arrest. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Look, I can prove it. I've got all the notes I made in prison for the book. No, what? You did all this? Oh, how could I have doubted you? Look, Mr. Worcester, look. Look what he's done. Mr. Worcester, I owe you an apology. I have done you a great injustice. I should have had more faith in dear Wilmot's fine and pure spirit. Absolutely. Come along, my darling. Goodbye, Mr. Worcester, and thank you. Jeeves, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. 